Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to try to answer the question, can you put a hood on a Fox Body Mustang by yourself? Maybe a better question is, should you? No, probably not. This is a job that is much better left to two people. Uh, it's awkward, and if your car has nice paint, uh, you clearly run the risk of damaging the paint trying to manhandle the hood by yourself. There are days where being a big brute of a guy is a disadvantage. You know, like working under the dash in tight spaces, that kind of thing. But when it comes to something like this, having long arms and uh, being strong is helpful. <laughs> Very helpful. So if you're a tiny little guy, uh, this is a double bad idea. In fact, uh, I'm not 100% sure we're not going to have a wreck here. If we do, I guess that makes for some good YouTube. This car, Project Bad Decision, is a real solid little car. But it's not what anyone would call a nice car. The paint is not beautiful, anything like that. So if we have a disaster here with the hood, the stakes are lower than if you have a really nice car. I mean, I really advise against doing this with a nice car. The fact of the matter is, sometimes it's just you. You're working alone, you don't have any help, you can't call in any help in a reasonable amount of time, and you gotta get the hood back on the car. So we're gonna go through the steps here that I would use to try and get a hood back on one of these cars alone, <laughs> and uh, uh, we'll see if it works out. First things first, and I think it's imperative, use a moving blanket like this over the cowl area and drape it down into this hood area so that you have some place for that hood to rest that isn't paint on paint. Secondly, lay out all your tools. If you use ratcheting tools, which you should, make sure that they're set to turn in the right direction so that there's less hassle when you go to actually do this. Lay out your bolts, have everything checked out, and a mandatory component of this step is to have a prop rod. If you don't have a prop rod, this is probably a really triple terrible idea. So make sure you got a prop rod uh, because that's the thing that's going to allow you, hopefully, to stabilize the hood enough so that you can handle it by yourself. I've got the hood kind of staged up uh, off camera here. I'm going to go ahead and grab it and we'll bring it in here. I'm going to work as quickly as I can. Uh, I'm just going to let the cameras roll and we'll see, uh, we'll see if I get a disaster. Wish me luck. When you bring it back, try and hold it something like this. Then I kind of use my shoe to support it there. Very gently on the floor. And I'm going to try and slide it in flat, roughly in place. Okay. So now it's in sorta in place. We're gonna stand it up in there so that it's kind of leaning against the back of the cowl. And we're gonna use the prop rod to try and hold up that end. Then while continually steadying it here, we're gonna slide over, we're gonna grab a, a bolt I think maybe put that bolt there. I'm gonna try to sort of gently get this. in there where I might be able to get a bolt on it. So 
So we've already dropped one bolt. Nice work, Matthew. But we've got one kind of started. Okay. We'll slide around here. Nice going. So we've got two bolts in and it's on the prop rod. We've dropped two bolts. Now, you can see some paint marks, witness marks, where these were before. So I'm going to try and get those snugged up just slightly there. Well that is basically installed. Uh, our next step, <laughs> don't forget about this step, is fitment. What we want to do is make sure that our latch is lined up, that our safety catch is lined up, and that all of those work, and we'll check our gaps. This car has a hood latch bracket disconnected inside, uh, so before I go too much further, I'm just going to check whether I think that's going to work. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and fit the hood. That's the primary latch in the latch position. I'm going to go pull it and make sure that it'll unlatch. Otherwise, we don't want to do the fitment just yet. Okay, that looks good. So we'll get our tools off of the blanket and we'll get the blanket out of there. I'm going to kind of leave the blanket on the cowl, but I'm going to get it out of the hinge part of the hood. Now, if the reason you had the hood off was because you changed an engine intake manifold, that you might have a height clearance problem, you got to be very careful at this stage. Use plasticine on your highest point. Sometimes that's the leading edge of the manifold or up here. And gently close the hood and check for clearance before you get too crazy. But this is a stalker, so we're pretty sure the hood will close on this. I'm going to take our latch out of the way. Still, you might have it way out, so bring it down gently. Just on the first latch, and I think we can see, just visually, that it is, that it is uh, skewed this way. I do have a body gap check tool <laughs> somewhere. Uh, it seems like it has wandered off. I don't know where it has got to here this morning. Uh, all that is is a, is a plastic tool with a taper on it, which you can use to run down the gaps on both sides uh, to check that they're the same. Um, this doesn't have to be perfect and it needs to get done. So I'm just gonna go ahead and visually align this hood. Now, like I said, it's clearly twisted this way. And I think uh, our gap at the back here isn't all that bad, a little bit, but it's not all that bad. Uh, mainly, we need to get the hood twisted back around this way, so. So I'm gonna uh, 
back these off on this side and I'm going to try and uh, slide the hood back a little bit there and I can see a little bit of a witness mark on the hood paint I'm going to align it to I'm going to tighten those back up and I'm keeping my fingers under the back edge of the hood here to keep it from impacting the cowl. And on this side, we're going to move it up. So you just make little adjustments and then you try it again. Let's bring this down and we'll see. Now, I can see that I have basically no gap on this side and I have a significant gap on this side and it looks relatively straight so we're going to try and if we can we're going to try and slide the whole hood this way a little bit So as it turns out, it really just needed one more adjustment to kind of square the hinges up. Is it perfect? Are the gaps perfect? No, but it's actually pretty good visually. And, uh, you know, when we get done with the car, I'll probably do a uh, final gap fitment. More important than the gaps, especially on one of these cars, is whether the latches work or not. Um, that is absolutely critical. If the latches don't work, the hood's gonna come up, smash your cowl, smash your windshield, smash your roof, you got a real disaster. So make sure that you check your latches. So look at this. It's now latched in latch position. I'm gonna give it a hard tug. It does not move. Okay, so then I'm gonna go and release the primary. And you can see it pop up. Let's check the secondary. Don't be afraid here. That has got to hold. And that, if your primary fails, that's all that's gonna keep you from total disaster. So that looks pretty good. I'm gonna close it again. <laughs> Bet it's 10 millimeters. That's somebody's 11 millimeter craftsman socket. Shook out of somewhere. My God. <laughs> ah, that's funny. I've been all through this car. I never saw that. Maybe it was in the hood. Okay. That looks like a good latch. I bet that was in the hood. <laughs> crazy obviously it's possible to put a hood on by yourself like i said it's not really a recommended procedure in a pinch you can do it and this is the way let me know if you've tackled this job yourself or maybe you know a better way to do this all alone thanks for watching see you next time